Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> Guys, Brian shows up to my door and this is happening. And he also brought me flowers. I was literally asleep. He didn't even know if I was awake or not. Brought me flowers and my packages because I've been gone for a week. And uh, he was just stopping by on his way to go hang out with his sister for SantaCon. <laughs> and he has a pillow in his stomach. <laughs> Vlogmas day nine, technically, even though I took a few days off. Um, and it's also so not morning anymore. It's 2.25. <gasps> ah! I randomly had a night last night. So to catch you guys up to speed, I was in Austin and Dallas this past week for Gals in the Go live shows. It's a live show that I put on with my best friend, Brooke, because of our podcast, Gals in the Go. And we had the best time. Like, Dallas was so fun for its own reasons. Austin was so fun for its own reasons. We wore insane pink outfits, Texas glam, boots, everything. You can go see the pictures on my Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. And Brooke actually vlogged this week, so you can go watch her vlog if you want to see what we did. It was so fun, and I'm just so grateful for all of you. It was so fun, and we have... How many times have I said fun? And we're going to do our New York show next weekend, which I'm... Oh, I'm like nervous. It's our biggest venue yet. So I landed... We landed in Austin last night at 5.30. And I've had it in my calendar for the last few weeks that Jingle Ball was last night. Jingle Ball is thrown by iHeartRadio and then your local radio station. So here, I think it's Z100. I grew up going to Jingle Ball in Tampa. It was so fun. One year, I actually performed at Jingle Ball. So it just has a nostalgic piece to me. And it's very much so like a younger demographic that goes. But this year, the lineup was like, it's really fun. So basically, it's a ton of artists and they all just sing their like top songs. So they each have like 15, 20 or 30 minute sets. And it's incredible, it's the best night ever. So I really wanted to go, but I didn't want to buy the tickets because I was like, I'm, I was flying into JFK. I knew it was gonna be a long drive. The concert started at seven. I was like, the odds are against me. But I texted Delaney, like Delaney and I had been talking about it and I was like, okay, I will make the decision when I'm in the car. So long story short, I was in an hour and 20 minute car ride from JFK, absolutely crazy. Cause I landed at you know 5.30, so it was traffic. And I'm doing my makeup in the back of the Uber, literally pitch black. Like I had no light, no nothing. And I didn't want to turn on the light because I feel like that's really bothersome to the driver. So I'm literally just guessing my makeup. It ended up pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself. I kept checking my face. I would go on Snapchat and do the front flash and check to see if I had any harsh lines. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna be able to make it because it's like a ton of artists and it starts at seven and it ended at 11.30. So I was like, even if we miss the first hour, I feel like we're safe. So I got home at 7.15 or not even 7.20, I think. And all I had to do was fix my hair and put on my outfit. I literally planned my outfit in my head on my way back, bought the tickets in the car on Game Time app. It's absolutely incredible. And Delaney and I went and we had the best night. Honestly, my favorite art. So there was like One Republic, Pentatonix, Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter, Jelly Roll, he's like a country artist. Big Time Rush, it was so random. And then the guy that sings, you're my little boo thing. Like that was the only song he sang. Oh, and SZA, oh my God, SZA. So I really wanted to go because I really wanted to see SZA and Olivia Rodrigo live. And I'm kind of into Sabrina Carpenter these days too. And I have to say, they were all incredible, but like, I think I lived my best life during One Republic. Like you just forget how many bops they have. And it's just so fun. And like Olivia Rodrigo was so fun because I know a lot of her songs, but I don't, I definitely don't know every single song. So she only did like a ton of her top songs. It was 
so fun. Highly suggest Jingle Ball. You should look to and see if your city is still has one coming up. But yeah, we randomly just had the best night and this was the first Jingle Ball I've like had a drink at because I think the last time I went was in college. I don't think I was 21 yet. I don't really know. I went with my mom once when I was home for Christmas and then like growing up I would go when I was young. Like my parents would take us. It was the whole thing. Anywho, I ended up drinking like double vodka drinks and the bar was like right near our seats. So like in between sets, in between artists, we would go and get another drink and I randomly got so tipsy and was having so much fun. And then after the show, I met up with some of my friends at the bars and we just like had a night. We ended up we started at Galway Hooker. We ended up um, on the east side in East Village at Sweetie. And it was just crazy. And then at like 2.30, it's not that crazy. And then I went home. Long story short, my friend called me and was like, she left after me and she got locked out of her apartment. Her roommate like accidentally hit the double lock. So I was like, oh my gosh, come over. So she slept over and we both, we've like been r rotting all morning. And then the craziest thing, then Ryan knocks on the door He's ringing my doorbell. He didn't even know if I was awake, you guys. Like he did not, nothing. And <laughs> I'm like hearing the doorbell ring and I'm like half asleep and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. So I went and looked at the people and it was Ryan holding a bouquet of flowers. And he like stopped by on his way because I hadn't seen him last night because I came home. And it was very, very sweet. He brought a beautiful holiday bouquet. And he was like, he's never done SantaCon because our first year living in New York, he went to a football game instead, so silly. And so I did it and I'm kind of like, I don't really want to do it again. It was like fine. Um, SantaCon is just a whole animal. I feel like you kind of go your first two years maybe living in New York and then you're kind of like done. I like see people walking around in Santa outfits. So Ryan's sister just moved here so he's like doing SantaCon with her. So we like came and he changed into his Santa suit here and me and my friend are just sitting on the couch like what's happening? Um, and then she ended up staying here until like, she like left an hour ago. So it was kind of nice. I had her to entertain me while I unpacked and I honestly did a lot of cleaning. So we routed for a little bit, but honestly I was very productive. I've done laundry. It's a Saturday, but I just love having a Saturday like this to myself, especially after the live shows, my social battery is a little, a little low. But anyways, I know that was like a lot of talking in one place, but I just felt like I needed to give you guys that background because I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. But this vlog, so I'm filming this on Saturday and Sunday and then this vlog will go up Monday and then the rest of this week, there'll be new vlogs every day, so. Yeah, I just showered and I feel amazing. I took like an everything shower and it's hitting. I feel like I need to drink an electrolyte. I mean, when do I not want an electrolyte? But I'm gonna drink an element right now because I think that will, I had a lot of drinks last night, I can't lie. Wow, I've missed you guys. I love vlogging. These literally fuel me so much. Next beverage of the day is an OPP protein shake from Juice Generation. I literally crave these when I'm not in New York, so I ordered one just now. <laughs> just opening up some packages right now, and Divi sent me this, it's literally, I think it's called, yeah, a big ass candle. And it, guys, for size, this is my other candle. I just blew it out because I can't have both of these going at the same time. This is so thoughtful, and it's, um, this is my ideal gift, honestly. And it's Christmas tree scented, so I need to start now. I usually, after New Year's, I'll burn Christmas tree scents for a little bit too, because it's kind of wintry. Um, but it just kind of smells like Fraser fir. Very, very fun collab. Big ass candle, and uh, I think the brand is Big Ass Luxuries, and they collaborated with Divi, which is the shampoo I literally used in the shower today. So, love that. My trees ornaments are slowly building, and it makes me so happy. I have like none of my special ones on this side, because you can't see, but. I just love my new ones that I got from Saks. And then the, a follower brought these ornaments to us in Austin. I got these bows that you can tie onto your tree and we all know bows are having a moment. I feel like everyone ooh, has been doing like the ribbon bows, but this is so freaking cute. So I'm gonna put these bows all over my tree. Update, they look incredible. They were so easy. I barely had to wrap them around the, the branches. I have one up there too. It's just like a subtle little bow moment, but I think it's so cute. All right, you guys, it is time. I am doing a PR giveaway for you guys, just for my Vlogmas watchers. So if you made it this far in the video, that means you're a real one. And I wanna give back to you guys because you guys are the reason I get all these amazing goodies. And I've been just collecting some stuff. I love all this stuff, but some of it is like doubles for me, or I just don't have a use for it at the moment. There's some great brands here. Isle of Paradise, I love this stuff. Elf, L'Oreal, a lot of Tarte stuff in here. Actually, a lot of the Maracujas. 
um, lip oil or lip things or whatever. Um, bloom. Like so many fun things. I have some sunglasses, some accessories here, some Lush products, like literally all kinds of things. This is a lot of stuff. There's a blow dryer. <laughs> I'm going to do two giveaway winners for this just because there's so much stuff and I want as many people to win as possible. So we're going to do two. I'll split this up in half. So it'll be kind of an exciting surprise to see what you get in your bag. Um, but all you have to do to enter, comment down below, subscribe to my channel and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Comment down below your favorite thing about the holiday season. Put your Instagram or if you don't have an Instagram, like your TikTok or something that if you win, I can contact you so I can get your address and everything to send. This giveaway will end this Wednesday, December 13th. So enter, enter, enter super quick. You have just a few days. Um, but comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be checking. And yeah, I'll have two winners. So I'll, those will be shipped out before the holiday season. So I'm so excited. Um, I definitely want to do more of these because you guys are the best. And I love you guys so much. So we're going to do a little giveaway. It's going to be dependent on what you get. But yeah, comment down below. It's getting cozy in here. Oh, this candle is smelling amazing. This is a great gift idea, getting like a giant candle for someone like me who loves candles. And I have my garland on a little timer, so it just came on a little bit ago. It's only five o'clock, but it's already so dark outside. Laundry is a going. About to start folding some of my whites, pulling together some gifts that I have for people that I'm bringing back to Florida. Oh, dryer just ended. That's incredible timing. I'm sorry, my apartment is such a vibe right now. I'm gonna turn on the TV and do a Yule log. This candle is smelling incredible. Um, Delaney's about to come over. She, as you guys know, um, does a lot of work for Cane's, raising Cane's chicken, and she had to do something for work today, and she's bringing me a box combo as we speak, so I'm so excited. I just, I'm in cozies, and we're gonna hang and eat dinner, and then, kind of see where the night takes us like Ryan maybe wants to do something like like I could be convinced to put on some makeup and I don't know about hitting the town but you guys know I love a festive evening so I could be convinced to like I don't know I've already seen the tree like maybe go to like Brookfield Place I'm trying to think of other like I've already done Bryant Park like just any sort of festive thing I have to look at my list I have a list of things that I want to do like during Vlogmas. Oh wait, this one doesn't have music. See, I like this one. And sometimes I just want the crackling of the fireplace. But right now I'm thinking more of like music. Okay, I think I ended up on this one. It's like a nice little living room setup and it's like Christmas jazz. The first time you burn a candle, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to burn the whole first layer so it's all like even. <laughs> so we're getting closer and closer because then it's like the perfect even burn. So my goal is to stay home until this is burnt, but I don't really know what that looks like timing wise. And this bouquet is probably the best one Ryan's ever gotten me because he like told his guy, Oscar, he was like, make it festive and make it very holiday. And one, I think it must be this. It smells so good. It smells very like, um, like a Christmas tree. So, and he was like, the, the tulips will open. I promise. <laughs> it's so sweet. Gwyneth is here with canes. Oh my gosh. chicken. Oh, I can't wait. Guys, I haven't had cane since I've moved to New York. Oh, oh my gosh. We did no slaw, extra toast, which is an option. I should try. Is this cane sauce? It is cane I sauce. I should try I think it again. I like it, actually. Really? Yes. I feel like I'm. <laughs> I think you will. It's like, you like yummy yum sauce, right? No. Oh. I'm a goody goody. But I'm going to try it again because everyone raves about this stuff. But don't worry. I have ketchup just in case. You know what you do is you cut the toast in half. Oh. Put a chicken in the toast so it's like a hot dog. Oh my god. Dip it in the sauce. Wow, you probably have all the canes. <laughs> I know. Wow, I feel so blessed. Guys, update. I like the sauce. I'm shook. I don't usually like stuff like this. But Delaney knows my taste but so well. You were like, you will like you this. Will like it. It, it's not too overpowering. <laughs> we're now watching the Heisman ceremony to see who wins. We're such football girls. No boys in attendance. And Delaney's also trying on some of my pink items um, for the live show. She's going to be selling merch. So you guys get to, if you buy merch at the NYC live show this weekend, come see me at the mo at the booth. It's going to be her, Caitlin, Ryan, and Ben. So a whole squad. And, and like a ton of other people, honestly. Maybe some of my other friends, her fam. It'll be a good time. Okay, it's 1130. SNL's about to be on. Ryan's here. 
I'm making some hot tea. I'm making some sleepy time tea in my Tamron Hall cup. Tamron Hall is a weekday talk show that Brooke and I were just on. And Ryan and I actually just watched our segment. It was so fun. You can watch it on YouTube. But yeah, I'm making some sleepy time tea. We're gonna cozy up, watch this, and I'll see you guys in the morning. A terrible day to do Christmas shopping because it is so rainy but I got something for someone in my family I'm not gonna say what it is but it was a very good gift and this person's gonna be really excited and now we're gonna go to Macy's on 34th Street because well one it's just a really it I want to go because it's very festive during the holiday season and there's some Christmas gifts I want to buy there Ryan might get a pair of shoes um, so we'll see and I just haven't seen the Macy's window displays yet and I want to and that's a fun little vlogmas activity so we're waiting under here because it's raining. shopping day it was so rainy but we really enjoyed it and Macy's was just so festive now I'm back and we are full-on Christmas music candle I am so cozy right now we have plans tonight we're going to a Rangers game but right now I'm doing some Christmas shopping and Clara purse gave me the tip to um, give get Ryan a like on Poshmark they have masters stuff so like I could get a masters merch because you can only get masters merch if you go to the masters but i was like talking to her about gift ideas and she was like you could get them this i was like i'm looking at like masters merch that people are selling on poshmark but i'm like i need it to come this week because we're exchanging gifts this week so yeah because he's going home after my live show to georgia and i'm going to tampa and yeah we're not gonna see each other for a minute so 
I also love this like rope style hat. So I'm looking to get Ryan either like a UGA one or an Atlanta Braves. But this just says Atlanta, so I'm not sure. Or like I really like this one. Wait, I feel like this one is really cool. Oh, hello. Oh, and they have rack 10, so I can get that cash back, baby. Now let's see how fast their shipping is. This is so silly on my part. Wonder if there's a store in New York I could find something like this. Oh, I don't know his head size. Should I just ask him? I should just ask him to be safe. This is so confusing. Okay, I just got him this. I really want it, but it's a master's hat. Men's and women's authentic. And it's so cool. It's green and it's got the rope. I couldn't find any Braves or Georgia ones that I liked and I think he'll love this. So like I said, Ryan and I are going to a Rangers game tonight and I'm trying to figure out an outfit around this hat. <laughs> um, it's my one little piece of Rangers gear. I have this shirt. It's like a cool metallic coated black shirt and I love this like corset style situation. So I was thinking I could do this with the hat and then my favorite, a gold day baggy jeans. And, ooh, you know what I haven't worn in so long? Where are they? Oh my gosh, wait. Where are all my dunk sneakers? Oh, here they are. Um, oh, or I have the red gazelles, but I feel like this with jeans, it's a vibe. And then there's like the slightest bit of red. So, <laughs> I like to pretend I'm a wag sometimes. <laughs> Love you, Ryan. You know what I mean. Like I like I not even I don't like to pretend I'm a wag, but I like to cosplay as when they're picking out their outfits for like their husband or boyfriend's team. I think it's so fun. So um, I'm a wag for Ryan, <laughs> but I think this could. Go I mean, we have to try it on. I need to start doing some makeup because I got all comfy cozy. I'm so happy that I'm cozy right now, but we're gonna change. It's such a vibe in here. I cannot, but we need to leave the house yet again. Okay, here's the outfit I actually decided on. I'm kind of making the puffer a part of the outfit. Hat. I did my makeup. I'm just wearing this, like, black crop top situation. But I'm wearing this jacket in specific because of the rain. Silver hoops are from Love AJ. This is my Rangers hat. A gold day jeans, diesel red bag, and then my black and white Nike Dunks. I'm very happy with the fit. I didn't actually end up liking the other shirt. It fit really weird. It like scrunched in weird places. So we're going with this vibe. And I'm going to go meet Ryan. And we're going to go to the game. I don't even know if I mentioned this, but the Rangers slash Madison Square Garden gave me these tickets, which is so beyond kind. And I'm so excited. So I think we get like some perks. We get to go to like VIP entrance and Delta Sky Club or something. So I'm excited to see what this is all about. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow. The Rangers won. Good night.